Welcome to Whisper Gaming ASMR. I'm so happy that you have decided to join me tonight or whenever you decided to click on this video. Today we're going to be playing some Minecraft and I will be doing a Heart Candy Whisper as I play, since a lot of you seem to enjoy that. So I asked a question on my channel a while ago, asking what I should do for my next Minecraft video, and the overwhelming winner was creating a sky base, and since I've been playing a lot of Tears of the Kingdom lately, I thought I would just go ahead and build a sky island, like in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, and full disclosure, I have never built a floating base before. Um, I've played very limited creative mode in Minecraft, so this is all pretty new to me. So, uh, not sure how this is going to turn out. Your guess is as good as mine. So it seems like a good first step is to just build this platform up. And from here, we'll start building. I think this is high enough, hopefully. I just don't know what the, uh, the sky box limit is. So, I do think sky islands in Zelda are a little bit higher, but... Okay. So, the first decision is what material are we going to build the actual island out of? And I think the Sky Islands and Zelda are kind of made of a type of rock. So, what well, is this? Tough. Let's see how this looks. Maybe we'll try a few different types. I really like the looks of Deep Slate. Um, maybe Smooth Basalt. Uh, this also will probably be a multi-part video. I doubt I'm going to get the whole thing done this time. But we'll at least get it started. My gut is to say, is saying to go with the tough. Also, this uh, hard candy tastes so good right now. I do intermittent fasting, and when I started this video, I hadn't eaten in 23 and a half hours, and I wanted to record this video before I ate because it reduces the chances of weird throat and stomach voices, which I always edit out. So I'm doing this before I eat, and having candy after not eating for almost a full day makes it so much better. So if you're into fasting, I highly recommend. I don't know if it's the healthiest thing to do, but it, it tastes very good. Okay, so I'm just going to build out a platform. I'm going to make it a lot bigger than that, and then I'm going to kind of sculpt it so it's regularly shaped. Since most of the Sky Islands in Zelda aren't um, like perfectly square. Oh, I've been meaning to say this in some of my videos and I just remembered. So I want to 
with you and just my community in general more going forward. So I had an idea of asking for trigger words, like words that you'd like me to say in my videos that could be good triggers. Um, and once I've compiled enough, doing like kind of like a viewer special where I just go through and read all the trigger words that people have requested. So, since I finally just thought of it, if you have any trigger words, I mean, please, please try to make them appropriate so I can actually say them and try to refrain from trolling if possible. But if you have any genuine trigger words that you'd like to hear me say in a future video, please comment them below, um, I guess. Kind of in the comment, just like put trigger word request and then the word or words you'd like. Feel free to submit a few if you have more than one that you'd like to hear. And then once I have accumulated enough words where I feel like I can make a good video, uh, I'll go ahead and record that video. So, yeah. Been meaning to say that for a while, and I'm glad I just thought of it. Okay, let's see, how's the shape of this looking? It actually doesn't look too bad. got to bring out this side and then fill it in some more. And then maybe I'll have like another little island coming off. And then have like a little bridge across it or something. It's Minecraft. The possibilities are endless. Also, it seems, just from my, the views I've received, that whispering with hard candy, or whispering with hard candy, and then switching to gum, seem to be my most popular videos. So, if there's a different trigger you'd like to hear, with Minecraft, or with just any other videos, please leave a comment for that as well so I can make more content like that. My whole point of making this channel is to make relaxing videos for people, so the more information I have about how I can better serve you, the better it is for both of us. Okay. <laughs> kind of a weird shape, I don't like how it has. Kind of like four points. Maybe I'll fill in the side. Actually thick 
Sky Islands. Okay, well, let's, let's back off that topic. That can't lead anywhere good. Um, that's just about me. I've felt pretty busy lately with keeping up with this channel. And then also, I've started a podcast with one of my friends that lives in New York City. I also live in New York City, but one of my friends that lives here. We have recently started a podcast talking about tech stuff. I'm not going to plug it here because I want to kind of keep my projects all separate. But I've been working on that, so that's also taking up a lot of time. Plus, trying to keep improving with music. Um, I've recently found a jam nearby, a music jam, which, if you don't know what that is, it's when a bunch of typically strangers, at least strangers at first, um, just meet together and, like, informally play music together. So, typically, you go around the circle, and each person picks a song, and then you all play it together, and take turns doing solos and things like that. And it's just a lot of fun and a good way to improve as a musician and learn new songs and meet other musicians. So I've gone to a few since I've moved to New York, but none of them really stuck. Um, but I found a really good one last Thursday that I want to start attending regularly. So that's another thing, taking up time on my schedule, but I'm very excited about it. And then on top of that, I just have my normal job, which is in sales, which can be stressful. But thankfully, this month is going very well for me. I'm doing the best on my team, which is always nice, since that is not always the case. Um, so yeah, my job's taking up time. And then, trying to get back into the groove of exercise. Been kind of lazy the past couple months. I've had, like, some good streaks and then some lazy streaks, and... I went back home to visit family at the beginning of July. And just ate like crap for like 10 days and didn't exercise and I have a pretty good handle on my weight. I like to try to keep it within like a five pound range because I think that's pretty manageable. And um, yeah, it just kind of helps you make sure things don't get out of check since five pounds, at least for me, is not super, super hard to lose. I know everybody's different. Thankfully for me, um, it's not like an unmanageable amount of weight for me to lose, but I've got about five pounds above the higher end of the range I like to stay in, which I haven't weighed this much in a few years, so I really don't want to kind of let that slide out of control, so I've been also trying to get exercise back into the mix, so that's taking up time, and then also realize I need time to relax so I don't get burnt out. And so um, I've been trying to play more video games without recording because this is relaxing, but then I have to edit this video and all that stuff, come up with thumbnails and titles. and So that kind of makes this whole thing not as relaxing. But anyway, I'm trying to be Tears of the Kingdom. Um, ideally, I'm trying to beat it in like the next week because Baldur's Gate 3 comes out soon and I really want to play that game because I enjoyed it in early access. I didn't get super far, um, but I'm excited for that to come out and when it launches, it's going to have controller support finally, so I'm looking forward to playing it on my RO 
dodgy ally, since I truthfully have not used my ally much since I bought it, because I've mostly been playing Tears of the Kingdom or Minecraft on my PC. But so yeah, I'm trying to beat Tears of the Kingdom, but I'm getting kind of held back because I keep saving up all the shrines to record. Because I've started a series called um, Three Shrine Specials, as I like to call them. Oh boy. Glad this is creative. Um, but yeah, so I'm saving up all the shrines for my three shrine special, so I've, I've discovered like 15 shrines that I haven't done, so I'm not getting any new hearts or any new stamina bars. And that makes it a little harder to progress in the game. So yeah, I gotta, I gotta record those or just let it go and not and not record all my shrines. But yeah, if that's something that interests you, check out my channel and definitely look at the three shrine specials. Okay, I might actually make this the top layer and then build underneath. Maybe I'll link a three shrine special for this video, but I can just leave it up to you to find it if that's something that interests you. Should be one of the more recent videos on my channel. I have a few of them coming out, or they might, they'll probably actually already be released by the time you're watching this, so check those out if you want to see me do three shrines and Tears of the Kingdom back to back. There's one I'm pretty excited for, where it's only controller sounds, uh, but I try out three different controllers. So I do a GameCube controller, I do the Switch Pro controller, and I do um, the Joy-Cons when you like put them in that thing that clicks them together so they're like a controller whatever that's called, but I do three shrines, and I do each of them with a different controller, and record the controller sounds for each, and then ideally I'm hoping people will tell me which one, comment which one they think is the most relaxing, so make sure to check that out if that sounds appealing to you. This is kind of trippy to be floating on the underside of this. The controls are kind of backwards. I think I'm just going to do two layers thick for this island. Yeah, I think this video is just going to be laying the foundation of the island. And then in a future one, We'll continue actually building out the top part. Maybe I'll build a little tree on this. And I want to put like a little pond. I want to put some water. Maybe a waterfall flowing over the side. Maybe I'll do that in this video. I've tried to been, I've also been trying to get
get back into reading as well. So I was reading a lot up until March of this year, and then I kind of fell off. I've been trying to read all of John Steinbeck's books. I've currently read 12 out of his 23 books, or 23 books I could find. And I started reading the first book he ever read called Writ. The first book he ever wrote called Cup of Gold, um, which is like a fictionalized biography of the pirate Captain Morgan, who you may know from his rum. Um, but I just finished that. I started in March and then took like three months off from reading it. But overall, I liked it a lot. Apparently it wasn't very commercially successful. I don't think he really found success until his fourth book, Tortilla Flats. But I thought Cup of Gold was good. And then I just started his book, his second book, called The Pastures of Heaven, last night, which is a bunch of interconnected short stories. I think there's 12 of them. But that's another thing taking up my time. But before I would, my girlfriend goes to bed a lot earlier than I do. So a lot of nights I was getting out of bed and working on recording videos or editing them or playing music like on electric instruments so it wouldn't be loud. But her work schedule changes during the summer so she stays up later. So I haven't been getting out of bed as much and feel like I haven't been able to get as much done because of that. But trying to look at the glass half full and realizing that it gives me more opportunity to read. And occasionally I play Switch in bed so I can work my through, way through Zelda. But I try to not look at screens as much these days before I go to sleep since I've always kind of struggled with falling asleep. But it's been nice to get back into reading, at least. I think after I finish going through all of John Steinbeck's books, I'm going to try to read all of Kurt Vonnegut's books. Since I've read... Let's see... I've read Mother Night, Slaughterhouse Five, Player Piano. Is it Breakfast of Titans or Breakfast on Titan? Something like that. Sirens of Titan. Breakfast of Champions, another one. I haven't read that one. Um, I've read like four or five of his books and I enjoy his writing. So kind of trying to just, like, find authors I like and then read all their books. But we'll see how long that trend lasts for. If you have any authors that you recommend, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Also, sorry if this video is so boring. I've just been laying stone this entire time, but... Like with most things in life, you have to lay the foundation before you can get to the exciting stuff. And this title is going to be something along the lines of building a sky island in Minecraft. And that's literally what I've been doing, so I don't feel like that's misleading. Since some people have asked how I get my game to look like this, I'm using Silder's Vibrant Shaders. 
and I'm using the extreme ones with volumetric lighting. Look at that. Okay, and then I think over here, maybe I'll do this with dirt, actually. I might 
to expand this now since Justice. 
and the water looks ugly. I wish that tree would grow. I also need to change my character's skin to Link. I meant to do that for this video. I've had this Boba, skin fet, uh, Boba Fett skin for a long time. Way before um, Bucka Boba was a thing. I've been a long-term Boba Fett fan. I'm also not a huge fan of what they did to him in The Mandalorian. And I never watched the Book of Boba Fett, but I did not like his new outfit. Let's see. I should add some more texture to that, but we'll do that later. Bye.